what's going on guys welcome back to come on mountain we got margarita over here sweeping what is going to be the new kitchen yes we have got the cabin tore apart if you watch my last videos of weatherproofing the cabin we destroyed the cabin in the process so what better time to rearrange and to get a little bit oh. more organization going on here on the cabin of course the foreman is in and out making sure everything's going well we also got the inspector we actually got two inspectors on the job site today we got yogi margarita's dog and we also got the new cat midnight and of course the supervisor's running around here sleeping somewhere i'm sure but look at the cabin guys it is destroyed everywhere but we are moving all of this over there and actually making a true kitchen area the only thing in this cabin that's not going to change is the bedroom area we are going to do upstairs as well downstairs open it up a little bit it's new year's eve right now this is what we chose to do on new year's eve was to get more function and reliability out of this cabin here for the new year but we're going to bring you guys along and show you all this crazy crazy transformation let me show you what I'm going to do for her tonight. Ooh, you excited about those steaks? If. I did a good job. If. If. Verdict. You guys know me better. You've seen it. I have the proof. <laughs> Verdict's still out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, later on this evening, we'll still be working on this, of course. I'm going to fire up the grill. I'm going to grill us some steaks. And then once we stop for the evening, we will shower, get in our pajamas, eat an awesome, awesome steak dinner, watch a movie, and just enjoy the new year. <laughs> it's a low-key kind of new year this year. All right, guys, let's go ahead and roll a time lapse of us getting this done.
all right guys as y'all know storage is a big thing inside the cabin right there i do not have none so i do plan on putting up some shelves in the new kitchen area out of the pine that i milled a couple of months ago that i actually made some live edge with i have a piece up here right now it's flipped upside down right now i need a shelf that's 29 inches for the spices so i'm gonna go ahead and cut that and sand it and i don't have no hinges right now eventually i'll end up making some wood ones or actually getting some metal ones but i actually found these buried in the ground a couple of months ago whenever i was digging up stumps and they're in pretty bad shape but i'm gonna take a little hammer beat them back into shape i got some rust oleum here i'm gonna paint them up real quick and i'm gonna make a shelf real real quick let's see how this works There we have it. Nice little rustic looking live edge. It's a little wet from all of the rain. I'm gonna go ahead and install it once it dries. I might do another little light sanding on it and then go ahead and stain it or polyurethane it. But for right now, it'll get a shelf up for her. Um, I think that's a good level. What about you? Is it good for you? Yeah, it works. I have my stool now, so I feel awesome. <laughs> And just like that we got a live edge shelf these screws are a little bit these screws are a little bit too long so i'm gonna end up having to get some different ones and switch these out but i didn't drill all the way through so but it's sturdy it ain't going nowhere what do you think about your new spice shelf you have a happy woman <laughs> it's awesome how he just he's like oh i'll just make a shelf i'm like okay yeah this works perfect I will definitely be putting some different brackets on there eventually because like I said I found those digging they're pretty cheap but they'll serve the purpose for now later on I'll make some wood uh, brackets for it make it all match
Whew. Yeah, it's been a long day, guys. It is dark. It's about 6 o'clock. But we're making some progress. I'm going to show you all here in a second. But we're about to go ahead and take a break. I've also been cooking behind the scenes. Made some New York strips and some baked potatoes. Woo -woo. Whew. The light in here has got me looking all bright. All right, so I got Margarita's plate fixed. And that right there is what we're working with this evening. Oh, yeah. Let's take it to her. Here you go, hardworking lady. Ow. Yum. That is so good. <laughs> Multitasking around here in the middle of this major cabin renovation and I still can throw down on the grill. A1. Thank you. Fork. Thank you. Ah, oh, looks so good. What are you doing, Yogi? Hanging out like a hare in a biscuit? Poor guy. All right, I gotta make mine. Ooh, woo -woo. And that is my plate. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Yes. Happy first day of the year. Yes, happy new year. It is uh, January the 1st. We made it to 2023. <laughs> that doesn't even sound normal. I know. It always takes me a little while to kind of get used to writing it. Yeah, yeah the 2023. <laughs> well, yesterday was a busy, busy day. Yes. While everybody was bringing in the new year, partying and celebrating, we was working our booyah cacas yes. off. But we did make some progress, but Margarita is about to have to leave. Yeah. And I wanted to show y'all what we worked on yesterday before she takes off because there's still a lot more to this video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a lot more work to go. But I'm going to let her show you the kitchen because that's what we focused on yesterday. What do you think? Oh, I love it. Once more, we did a pretty good job. <laughs> and I hope and pray this is the last time we move. But... um. It took a long time, a lot of thinking, and we made it work, as always, so. Cleaning and organizing. Clean it. I cannot address how much dirt this cabin gets. Like, I will sweep and sweep and more dirt, and of course, as I was reorganizing, I was cleaning everything, so that's why it kind of took double the time, but welcome to the kitchen, to the new kitchen area. There's still some work that has to be done. I got to rerun all the power yes. in here. So we just got extension cords kind of running right now, powering things. But we got a little coffee area yes. over here. And finally have some drawers in the kitchen, which <laughs> I think is huge. Um, I still got to go through all of that and organize it. I'll probably end up putting silverware and stuff like that in mm -hmm. there. Just like a normal kitchen would be. Yes. We was able to incorporate the refrigerator in the actual kitchen, which for me is huge. Yeah. Because now you can kind of just open it and get your creamer and stuff for your coffee and all of that. Yes, so absolutely. works out. And we decided to go double stack with the shelving on this to be able to bring everything up eye level for me. So I don't have to bend down to the floor to get everything. And I think it works out really good yes we got the ice maker and plenty of countertop space right here yes for prepping um we got the instapot there we also got the little burner right there that i could just throw up there real quick once i get the power hooked up and got enough room right there just for cutting and prepping and stuff like that and look at how amazing he is i said oh it would be nice if we have a shelf and he's like okay i'll be back <laughs> And I guess 20 minutes. I mean, it didn't take that long. <laughs> no. He came back and he just, where do you want it? And I mean, it worked out perfectly, especially for him, yeah. for his hide. And, you know, he has all the main um, spices, spices, salt, pepper, everything that you use, you know, normally. And the oils and for his extra spices, I got that, something that he doesn't use as often. So... Yeah. I think it worked out. I think it worked out good. With a little bit of margarita touches with the decorating. Yes. As you can see right here. <laughs> she got me that for my birthday. It says Fired Up Friday. It's pretty cool. I like it. 
but yeah i think it turned out pretty good there's plenty yes. of lighting in here yes it's a uh, not a huge space but it's a functional space and there's plenty of room right here in the center yeah. to be able to move around even for me being a little bit bigger mm -hmm. i think it works out good absolutely and he has everything oh the best power Ta -da! i got her a stool again. now i feel like part of the kitchen now no problems now look at this <laughs> <laughs> so if he wants to look for some food oh let me check <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Hannah hides away in that little nook pretty well. Yes. I, I think it turned out pretty good. And down below right here, we got the air fryer. And we also got the microwave. Still need to clean that. It turned out pretty good. But we did make some progress in the living room area. Um, as you can see, the couch is now back downstairs. The desk has been moved. The recliners have been moved. But there is still a ton of stuff everywhere that I got to go through. And still got a lot of work to do up here. But that's what I'm going to be working on today for the first day of 2023. Margarita's got to get home and get ready for the week. But I do appreciate all of your help. Thank you. I like it. I was frustrated by the end. I mean, we spent, we started working, what, 10? Yeah, about 10 until yeah. about 6. And it's just like cleaning the fridge, you know, like scrubbing it, everything. It had to be moved and it have to be clean and it have to be reorganized in a way that it was convenient for him so i think i slept pretty good last night uh we went to bed i kind of woke up it was like oh 12 or 9 or something happy new years and i was out until like 8 this morning so i think it was all worth it yeah, I think it turned out good. It's definitely a big step. The kitchen is definitely one of the biggest processes besides going through everything and organizing for the rest of the cabin. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that we was able to actually get that done before she left. And for the next two days, I will be finishing the cabin. This cabin has never been 100% organized and cleaned. Um, downstairs, yes. Upstairs, no. Upstairs has always been storage. Yeah. Just like pile everything in there, there that you don't want so for the next two days i'll be working on that today is actually going to be a nice day i have to run to town to get some gas and stuff um for the week coming up mm -hmm. and tomorrow it's supposed to rain real bad here all day so yeah. it'll be another good day to kind of work inside and mm -hmm. go through everything the goal for it all is is the reason why we didn't really like go and hang out and celebrate and stuff yesterday was to get organized for 2023 yeah and that is my main goal right now and I needed a break from the building just to recharge the batteries mm -hmm. a little bit. It, it gets a little mundane and stressful if you just work on it every single day. Oh, so sure. it gives me a little bit of a break from that for this week. I took a little time off for the holidays. And now it's time to get back and hit it strong for 2023. Mm -hmm. And no better way to do that than to organize your life. Yes, yeah, starting fresh. Starting fresh. Yeah, and it's definitely going to be fresh. <laughs> but I will say, even with as messy as it is in here right now, you can see how much more open space is going to be oh, in this main sure. living area. Once everything is organized. So I'm excited about it. But I'm going to go ahead and take her to her car. I also pulled all of the rugs yes. out of here. And when I take her to the car and go get gas, I'm actually going to stop at the car wash. And I'm going to pressure wash all the rugs mm -hmm. and go ahead and let them start drying so I can bring them back into the cabin. All right, guys, we made it to the car wash. We're finna pressure wash these rugs for the cabin. I'm gonna lay them all out in this area right here to make it as efficient as possible. I got my roll of quarters. Let's see if we can do this for $10.
All right, let's do a little before and after. This is what it looks like now. Stains all on them. This one's almost yellow. All right, let's see what it looks like when we're done. Got them all washed. They look so much better. Now I'm going to roll them up to wring out the water. And then I'm going to go over to the vacuum and vacuum them and get the rest of the water up. It'll make them dry a lot faster. Hi. For eight dollars, I still got about two dollars in my pocket. I was able to clean all five rugs and save a fortune of money if I would have went and replaced them. Rugs are very, very expensive, and it is a whole lot cheaper to come to a car wash, do some pressure washing with some soap, and then vacuum out the water, and then it doesn't take as long to dry once you get home. But a little tip for you. Um, and I have found that if you just load it up and go to the car wash, it's a whole lot easier because they got concrete and you can spray it off and get it somewhat clean. And they also got soap mixed in with their water, which gets all those funky smells out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get gas. I'll bring y'all back when we get back to the cabin and we start organizing and cleaning again. All right, guys, we made it back to the cabin. It is crazy going to town just eats up the whole day. I didn't get back here until 4.30. And 
30 minutes later it was dark but we're not gonna let that stop us we're gonna start chipping away at this cabin uh, it's time to tackle the living room area and the office area so tonight we're gonna do that expecting huge storms tomorrow so it's gonna rain all day tomorrow and I plan on tackling the loft tomorrow but tonight we're gonna take care of all of this and also I have a new mounting bracket for the TV that allow it to turn to face these chairs right here so we still got a lot to do so I'm gonna turn the radio on and start chipping away at this I'm gonna run y'all guys in a time lapse and we're gonna get this done I'll bring y'all back when it's finished All right, guys, as y'all seen in the time lapse, I did not put everything back together. I actually tore everything apart. I ended up changing my mind. Yesterday, whenever I went and did the shopping at Lowe's and pressure washing the rugs, I also bought the floor stain for the floor. I ended up going with, I believe it's called a mountain lake. It's like a dark grayish blue. And I decided I'm going to go ahead and paint these floors because they are disgusting. Look at them. And I have been dealing with that for the last year and I am over it. So I figured before I put everything back together with the computer and the TV and all of that stuff, 
now is the best time for me to go ahead and get these floors painted but we're going to do that on the next video because this one I'm sure is quite long at this point. So I'm going to break this up into a two-part series. So y'all got to see me tear everything apart, get the kitchen somewhat done. Although I did tear it back apart as well because I'm also going to paint inside here. I'm not going to move the shelves or the bed. I'm just going to paint up to it for now. And when I move everything out of the cabin this year, to do the cabin renovation, I will paint up underneath the bed and up underneath those counters right there. So, yeah, it's been a busy, busy two and a half days. A lot of work, and I still got another two and a half, probably two days left before this project's actually going to be done. But there is nothing better than starting the new year off with a new look in the cabin. And for the first time since I've been here in eight months, I have a feeling that once I clean the cabin, it's actually going to look clean. I'm tired of walking around in sandals because I don't want to walk on this dirty concrete floor. All right, guys, until we see each other again, come on, let's go on another adventure.